Hello and welcome to this video on version 6 of the Bananabox DAW plugin for Mac. This plugin is included with any purchase of Bananabox 2024 for Mac. The plugin can be used with any DAW that supports VST, AU, or AAX plugins, and features an interface very similar to the main Bananabox program, but with features making it uniquely useful in a DAW setting. I'm going to use a few different DAWs in this video, including Pro Tools, GarageBand, and Logic. But it also works with lots of DAWs not being shown here as well, such as Reaper, Studio One, and many, many more. Version 6 of the plugin now has over 20 new features. To start with, it now features near instant playback in the style picker. The style picker can now let you audition styles with the current song without having to render new tracks. So I'm currently using the plugin in Logic, and you can see here that I have the plugin open and I've already entered some chords in there. Even though I haven't finished my song, I'd like to actually pick a style for this song, so I'll go into the style picker. And I'll move the style picker over here so that I can see my chords underneath. Now, in the past, if you wanted to sample different styles, you could double click on them to hear a pre-made sample of the style. If I click on this plus button to go into the demo options, you can see right now I do not have double click or spacebar plays chord sheet. So right now it's the old method of playing pre-made demos. So I'll leave it like this for a second just so you can see how it used to work. But I've been working on entering these chords in my new song, so I really want to hear what all of these sound like playing that progression. So I'll now go back in here, and I'll turn this feature on. And now I'll do the same thing. And even though it's generating these tracks based on my chords, it's starting these styles almost instantly. I've now finished entering my chords, and so I'm going to show you another new feature in the Style Picker, Render Tracks Directly in the Style Picker. So out of the styles that I sampled earlier, the last one, Facula Driving Slow Rock, I think is the one I want to use for this song. And now I'll show you another new feature, Render Tracks Directly in the Style Picker, which I can access by pressing this new Render Tracks button. So first of all, this upper area lets you pick exactly what you want to render, with items relating to real tracks and real drums here, and items relating to MIDI tracks here. In both areas, it has a checkbox that refers to the master. This is a stereo mix of all of the tracks. So selecting it in this area means real tracks and real drums will be included in that master, and selecting it here means that MIDI tracks will be included in that master. So then in real tracks, wave files should be selected if you want to have individual audio tracks for the real tracks and real drums. And if real charts is selected, you'll also get MIDI available to go along with the real tracks and real drums audio, which could be used for notation purposes. In the MIDI tracks area, MIDI files would give you individual MIDI available on those tracks, 
and Render to Wave would give you rendered versions of the MIDI. The style that I've selected is all real tracks and real drums, so this area isn't really applicable to the style, so it doesn't actually matter what I select here. And then there are some preset buttons here, which just automatically put checks for a few different scenarios. MIDI just puts a check beside all of the items that would actually create MIDI files. Wave puts a check beside all of the options that give you audio, as well as real charts, which is MIDI, but could be used to display notation along with the audio. And all just puts a check beside everything. Now, as I mentioned, this style here does not actually have any MIDI tracks in it, but it certainly doesn't hurt to leave these checked as well. So I'll just press render tracks now. And now I can check this out by pressing the play button in the plugin. And of course I have all of the individual tracks so I can drag them into Logic as well. Another new feature is that you can now load chords directly from MIDI files. I've now got the plugin loaded on a track in Pro Tools, and so I'm going to open a MIDI file here. I'll select Load Chords from MIDI File, and I'll select Violet.MID from the Tutorials folder in my main Band in a Box folder. And once that file is selected and opened, Band in a Box automatically processes it and writes the chords to the chord sheet. I'm now using GarageBand, and I'm going to show you another new feature here. Shots, rests, and holds now work on utility tracks. I have the demo loaded for one of our new prog rock styles, and you can see that this style has a real track set on two of the utility tracks. Entering shots, rests, and holds on utility tracks in the plugin works the same as the main program, and can be done just by typing it in the chord chart, or it can be done in the chord settings, and I'll show you that first. So first of all, at bars 17 and 18, I just want drums, bass, and the single bends background guitar, which is on utility track one. So I'll make sure I'm at the correct bar, which I am, and I'll choose rest, but I'll exclude bass, drums, and utility track one. And you can see that as I did that, it's entered this text here. So C is the chord, of course. A single dot means it's a rest. B means bass is excluded from the rest. D means drums are excluded from the rest. And U1 means that utility track one is excluded from the rest. And now that text is actually entered in as a chord, meaning there will be a rest for all instruments except the three that I specified. And as I said, I wanted to do the same thing at bar 18, so I can just enter the same thing, but with D as the chord instead of C. I want to do something similar at bars 19 and 20, but instead of rests, I want shots, where all of the instruments just play a short hit of the chord. One dot, as seen above, is a rest, and two dots is a shot. So I'll have all the instruments do a shot, except bass, drums, U1 for Utility 1, and U2 for Utility 2, since I want that guitar to start playing as well. Now, what I typed is not displaying, but that's just because there isn't room. But if I resize the window, now I can see the entire thing I entered. And finally, I want the same thing at bar 20, but a hold instead where the chord is played and held, which is entered using three dots. And now I'll press Generate and see how all this will turn out. For Reaper users, the plugin has built-in specific support for the Reaper DAW API, 
allowing direct transfer of Van in a Box files to and from Reaper tracks, including tiny lossless files of instructions which play audio instantly from disk. There will be a separate video showing these Reaper specific features in more detail. Check out pgmusic.com for more details. And finally, you can also check out even more new features with version 6 of the plugin by going to Preferences and Help, which takes you to our website where all of the new features are listed. We hope you enjoy all the great new features in the Bananabox DAW plugin version 6 for Mac. Thanks for watching and have fun.